What's up, folks? Welcome back to Tentacle Tortoise. My name is Trevi, and I'm here to talk to you about a pretty exciting announcement that just came a couple days ago from Mantic Games. Now, going on like two years ago at this point, I made a video talking about how well suited the Halo universe would be to a tabletop miniature game. The gist of that video is that because Halo is already a gamified universe that has a wide breadth of different unit types that are already designed to be identifiable and distinct from one another, it's already a pretty easy fit into a miniature game. Now at the point I recorded that video, we were just off of the release of Halo Infinite and staring down the barrel of a new TV show. Unfortunately, Halo Infinite was not necessarily the uh, cultural revolution that I think if the Halo fans hoped it would be, and the TV show was, was really bad. Shit. Please don't kill me. I kind of want to do a whole essay on my personal channel about what went wrong with that TV show, because uh, who was it for? There is a second season coming, though. Maybe they'll be able to take the feedback they got from the first one and uh, right the ship a little bit. I'm really pulling for Halo because I absolutely love the universe. Aesthetically, the grounded technology and the kind of advanced near futurism of the human faction is really cool. The sort of badass alienness of the Covenant is exciting, and the body horror of the Flood is also a cool juxtaposition to the too, and I think it would be a pretty sweet range of miniatures, which is why I was excited when Mantic Games announced that they were the next torchbearers of the long litany of Halo miniature games that have been attempted over the years. Now, obviously, there have been many of these in the past, although none of them from the big front runners of the miniature gaming space. Action Clicks had a Halo expansion for a long time that even included some of the larger vehicles and walkers from the setting, which is super cool. And we also saw several Halo games come out of Spartan Games back in the day. We made a pretty mechanically bizarre fleet battles game, as well as making the interesting choice to make a 15 millimeter scale ground battles game for the setting. Not really something that I think fits Halo particularly well, but they tried it and then subsequently went out of business. So didn't go great for them, I guess. Now that said, Mantic Games tends to focus more heavily on 28 millimeter plus scale games. And they obviously have a breadth of games like Warpath that mesh well with the Halo aesthetic. So I definitely think that they have what it takes to pull off a game like this. And I think the 28 to 30 millimeter scale is what Halo needs in a miniature game. You have a universe with a lot of high definition aesthetics coming from first person shooters that you want to be able to resolve on the table, as well as cool characters and armor types and different weapons that you want to be able to identify actively on your miniatures. And setting it in something like a fleet battles game or a 15 millimeter combat game is not necessarily as exciting as being able to identify Master Chief or the Arbiter on the tabletop. Now that said, with all that excitement that I have for this universe and for a miniature game set in it, I'm a little bit worried about this announcement in particular. So let's dive into it. Now, this was only a short press release, so we don't have a lot of information about this game. And it sounds like we're going to be getting a lot more information this coming March. Now, according to the press release, the game is launching to retail in September of 2024, and Halo fans can eagerly look forward to amazing Spartan miniatures that bring the Halo multiplayer battles to life in an expertly crafted team combat game. A quote from Mantic CEO Ronnie Renton goes further to state that having a firefight play out on the table while moving Spartans in and out of cover connects players to the action in a new and exciting way. We have a thrilling and competitive game from a passionate team of talented sculptors, artists, and designers who have been building an incredible Halo experience. Now, the reason that I'm a little bit worried about this is that focus on Spartans. While the engineered super soldiers of the setting are definitely the poster children of the franchise, one of the cool things about the Halo universe is that they aren't the only cool thing within in it. And each of the factions, including the UNSC that the Spartans are a part of, have a lot of really cool and interesting units and characters to dive into beyond just the ones on the front line of the marketing. And the fact that it sounds like this game is focused on recreating the multiplayer experience also gives me a little bit of pause. It sounds like instead of getting an interesting factionated game where you're able to construct cohesive teams out of Covenant, Flood, or UNSC forces, you're gonna be taking a variety of Spartan characters, assembling a team from them, and playing against almost identical teams of other Spartan characters. Now, obviously we only have a couple lines to go off of, so I can't say that for sure, but there was no mention of miniatures other than Spartans. Nothing about Covenant or UNSC Marines, ODSTs, stuff like that. The Action Clits game from WizKids released in the early 2000s also had an approximation of Halo multiplayer mechanics within it. And that's a level of gamification that I don't think miniature games necessarily need or even lend themselves to. Recreating multiplayer modes means adding things like 
respawns, weapon swapping, and non-narrative objectives to the game that are highly gamified and honestly kind of pull the immersion out. One of the big benefits of a miniature game is that it is an interesting hybrid of a board game and a more immersive simulation. While a miniature game should never be wholly one or the other of those two things, it has the power to mesh the two together in a way that's very interesting and satisfying. And I think leaning too heavily one way or another kind of disrupts the experience. And that's a little bit what I'm worried about with this announcement for the Halo miniatures game. Now, obviously, Halo is near and dear to my heart. It's probably one of, if not my entirely favorite sci-fi franchise. So I'm really pulling for this game to be cool and interesting, and I do want to paint up my own team of Spartans. That sounds absolutely rad. But what I don't want is a a game that's bland and uninteresting. And it sounds like a board gamified recreation of Halo's multiplayer modes would be something like that. What I want to see is a factionated skirmish game that brings small teams of, uh, say, 10 to 20 miniatures that you can construct from the different Halo factions. And if that's what we get, I'm all here for it. But if all we get is a handful of Spitans that fight each other in narrative bereft combat arenas, I don't think it's going to be quite as exciting. Still excited to see more about this game. We only have a couple months to wait before we see some more concrete information and obviously it coming out later this year is super cool just had to talk about it momentarily big thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video thanks as well to everybody who supports the channel either over on patreon patreon.com slash youtube channel members and twitch subscribers let me know down in the comment section what you think about this game and if you are excited for a halo miniature game of your own remember to keep it classy folks and have happy wargaming